So what you'll do is you'll open up Blender, then click on this tab, then go to Use Preferences, then you go to Disabled, you should have a whole pile of these, make sure they're all ticked. Then click Save Use Settings. After this, go back to Properties, up here, and then press A in the View window, and then press A again, and delete all and this will delete all current objects in the plane. So what we're going to do now is make a basic structure for your um, for your actual um, chapel. So what we're going to do is we're going to start by making and it's by editing a square block and then what we're going to do we're going to separate it into we're going to make that go by 2, so x2 and then e x2. So then after we've done this we're going to go control R and then click 2 and then we're going to S on the X and then that's that's going to be our walkway, our doorway. So what I usually find useful is to actually have a um, a copy of what you're actually going to do. So if you're trying to make a chapel, so I'll bring one up now. So what I found was a actual chapel. So what we're going to do is we're going to get out of edit mode first um, and go into import. And because um, we activated everything to import, we're going to import images plane. And then um, wherever, wherever you downloaded the object to, so I downloaded it to my um, download folder. So it will be it will be called Chapel website. So what so what I've done now is that's now in the visible scene. But, as you can see, there's no texture. Yeah, no, absolutely no texture. So what we're going to do is rotate that on the Y, on the X, and we're going to go 90. And then rotate on the Y, go 90 again. And then we're going to go texture. And as you can see, I've done it wrong so we're going to rotate it on the Y go 90 and go negative um, so now the easiest way to do this is so now that we've got this here we are going to make a stencil so our stencil is basically our outline so we can see that there's two two physical rows so we've got a Flat straight building right here. Yep. And we're gonna click that. And there's that also goes out to expand to the chapel right there. So now what we've got is a couple of points, so so um, what we're going to do is make a get out of that, and we are going to shift S, cursor to selected, shift A, new plane, which, which I should have done. So we rotate on the X90, and then we're going to scale it down in edit mode and then what we're going to do we're going to create the building so the building goes out to here and um, what you going to do is you're not going to match to the actual size you're going to guess them you're going to go from the top and then go to the bottom because uh, otherwise it's not going to be square and 
what we've basically done there is we've designed our brickwork. So that's going to be the basis of a brickwork. So then we select, press A, and select all again, and then we click E and on the Y, and let's say we want it this big. Now, um, at the moment it looks strange, it does look strange, but there's a reason for that, and what we're going to do to fix that strange structure is we're going to start to build the top steeple. So we're going to do Control R, make sure that's centered, and then we're going to need to make sure that's square, so we'll go X, Y. So then we're going to select this face, that's going to go, we're going to press E because we want to make it extrude, and then we click E again. Now, what, because we got that, we're going to start, we're just making the standard pieces. So we're E, then we're Sing, and then we're going to pull that up slightly. And then E, S, E, extend on the X, and then we're going to S. And then what we're going to do is we're going to E one more time. And we're going to start giving it a new format. So we're going to give it a star format. So what we want is we're going to start, we're going to subdivide once. And what we've basically done is we're making a point. So just select the out, um, outside faces and then what we're going to do is do that. Then we have our new format. So then we're going to make it small again. So we're going to click S and then we're going to click E and what we're going to do is we know that there's a way out there and then there's another layer there and we s scale in we E and along the Z and we scale in a little bit and then we go E and then we go to the point and then what we're going to do here is we're going to scale in a lot pull that down because that's a little bit too high click the middle point and we're going to pull that up so that our steeple now has a point so as you can see at the moment it's still a little bit iffy at the moment so what we're going to do is we're going to start by pulling this one up. So what I did, I clicked said and I went to wireframe. So we're going to then click B and then we're going to pull that up. And then we're going to click solid and as you can see that's not um, very smooth whatsoever. That's not smooth at all. And if you remember what, having a look at the original picture, the original picture was slightly different. And we want to delete um, faces, not vertices. So now that we've got that, um, we're going to go back to texture. That's just holding set, by the way. Um, and what we're going to do, we're going to select the outline again. And then we're going to click E. And then we're going to click. E. 
and then we're going to click S along the sides to about 1.1 and then well that was that S on X so S on Y now becomes slight, slightly different and so now if you can see from the picture I don't know whether you can so what we'll, so that we can see the picture now that we've got our layer over the top as you can see from the picture there's there's also these windows the pillars that expand out so in order to get the pillars right we'll start creating those pillars right there and basically all you need to do with this is shift a create a cylinder now obviously that's too big so what we're going to do is we're going to scale it to our size now that's gone through the mesh so we s still need to scale it to size and now we'll match that up right there So, as you can see, there are slight variations between the textured palette and how ours looks at currently. So, what we're going to do is we are going to E and we're going to select vertices so that we select vertices, Y frame and changing with said remember um, so then we go back to texture we pull that up and what we want to do with this one is, so this one we're going to sort of cheat now um, yes I know it's um, cheating to a point so but it will make it a lot easier and quicker so we'll click E and then we'll click S and then what we'll do we'll expand that down And because it's only short, that needs to be a little bit smaller. And then we go E, said, And then we'll click S. And then E, said, And then S again. And then E. Said, make sure set is selected. So then, what we've done is we're going to go E again and S, and that's a little bit too. Go there, click E, said, and then we'll pull down. And then what we'll do is because that's a circular face and we want it to a square face, we'll click E, Z, and that will go down. And we'll then go to our loop tools, which are right here. And And we'll shift S, actually. Yeah, we won't actually go through that process. Um, sorry, um, I know I'm going a little bit over the place. I might do some editing later on. Um, so, um, cursor to selected. And then what we're going to do, we're just going to cheat this and go shift A and add a plane. And so then we're going to size the plane down, 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 down. And then we're going to pull it a little bit up, and then we're going to go E, and make sure it's on set again. And then with that square box, 
make sure we only select the square box, otherwise you'll have problems later on. So we, yep, and then what we want is shift and then Z when you've clicked S to scale down, and then that should be it. And you remember how I said we're going to cheat? This is how we're going to cheat. So we've done that, and we're going to click this tab right here, which is your modifiers tab, and we're going to mirror. Now, we want to mirror on the set. Now, as you can see, our geomet geometric center is off. So what we're going to do here is we're going to click spacebar and set origin. And set origin to selected. And then then what we've got is we've got this pillar that comes across right here so when we go um, solid and we're going to now make that temporarily invisible and as you can see it's still not quite there yet but um, we, we are getting there we are getting very close to actually um, being able to um, start editing. So, so, if we go back to the picture um, that we downloaded and go to texture mode, we notice that there are four of those pillars. So then we s make sure we've got this object selected, click Shift D, And then, now that we've got two of them, click Shift D and X. And just move them to about the right location. Now that that's happened, we can start doing the top part that it stands out. Yes, I, it is a little bit um, time consuming, but um, um, any good animation is um, and uh, Hopefully this um, should give you an idea of um, for future projects um, because there's a lot of material that you can adopt and uh, this is only one of many. Um, so so now what we're going to do if you, I don't know whether you can see it but um, we're actually going to apply the mirrors so that now all those all those posts are actually now confirmed they're realistic there so when we select the object we get the whole thing and it's all one mesh instead of it being separate so now we press shift s on the top in case it is selected and the reason we're doing this is so that we can start the outside plane. So we're going to add another plane and then go into edit mode, scale it down, 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 down. As we did with the other. Now, this one we need to make sure that it, it comes to the top of the pillar. Just like this. And then we're going to expand it so that it's over all the pillars. And then we go to this point. So we'll go back, we'll go to object mode, go to solids and we've started to build that exterior that we really really need so now we're going to join these two objects the reason we're joining these two objects is so that we can actually control R for that again sorry I keep on forgetting um, so then we click F and now 
that is a straight straight way to do it even though as you can see what's happened is these no longer are straight so you might have to just go to press 7 7 on your numpad and then that will um, help you define whether it's straight enough for you for me that looks okay so what I've done is I'm going to start pulling um, because if you remember from the picture um, there's this little groove that it goes it goes up up just a little bit and then because there are slight changes in smoothing we'll click control R and what we'll do we'll click free and then what we'll scale in and I'm not going to do all the fancy details I'm just going to make a basic shape because um, first of all, I don't want to confuse you, and second of all, you won't have time. Um, you get com you may get confused on some of the steps. And what we'll do, we'll scale this middle one in a little in again. So there we go. And now all we have to do is start our pivotal roof. So if we have a look at this, there's actually a, it's a triangle shape with a circle in the middle. So what we're going to do, we're going to sub, and we're going to control R and cut that in half. And now, what we've got is, we've got our midpoint. So, yeah, it didn't come all the way through, which, um, the reason it didn't do that is because you're working with, two different meshes. So we'll go back to 7 and make sure that's on point and I muck that up so we'll control R again and so it's on point about there and what we'll do is we'll press control R now this, oh wait, no sorry, we'll press K. K is a knife tool, so what we're just going to do is connect those two. See, now they're all linked. So all we have to do now is pull this face up. So we click E, actually, no we don't click E. We click Shift D and then set. So what we're doing is we're creating a duplicate. So now that we've created the duplicate, we probably want it about there. And yes, at the moment it's just lines. And we haven't done colouring for obvious reasons. Um, so we press F. So now this is where um, people can get confused um, and it's probably better to do it in solid mode. Sorry, I'm, I've mucked around with this a lot so um, I just find what you usually use what's easier for me so, and um, sorry about that. Um, so what we'll do, we'll pull that back and we'll scale it in a little bit. So now, if you rem 
have a look at the picture it just goes back a little bit and then what we'll do is we'll press F well actually we'll, we don't want a square in there we want a rectangle um, and so what we'll do we'll press Control R on these sides and then we'll pull out a little bit and what that does that just is going to make it smoother for when we start putting everything together later on so now if you remember from the texture there's now a, as you can see it's starting to develop very quickly and we're getting to a point where it's almost there um, so at, at the moment um, what I'm going to do is I am going to take a little break so I'll be back in a couple of minutes okay but okay so we'll go back we'll go to solids now so we've made our basics of the church and our chapel we haven't done any doors yet which um chapels don't need doors well <laughs> um but the thing is if um you really are struggling you can i will keep the files um so if you want to use the files for any particular reason i'll i'll upload them as well so um uh, hopefully um i you you can do it without me having to go through that process but i understand time restrictions and it is learning a new thing that does will take time it, it, it takes time to master and uh, to be honest i can't say i've fully mastered it yet um, but yeah so what I've started to do is I'm starting to connect all the meshes now with these ones you have to be careful so what you're gonna do select like that they're done. Select it like that. They're done. Okay. So now we select like that. That's done. And we'll do the same to the other side. We'll select like that. And that'll be done. So that one goes there. That one goes there, and that one goes like that. So, if we get rid of the um, plane that we made for chapel and of the picture, now that's starting to really come along, isn't it? Yeah, I know this uh, is always a little bit rhetorical. So as you can see it's not smooth and there are a couple of issues with it at the moment but what we're going to do is we're get gonna, because when we extruded from the very beginning of making this new mesh for the top of the roof um, for the front roof there it um, didn't um, it removes the bottom so there we go everything's new and we've got the that part right there now if you can see it looks like a little bit smushed it 
it, it is a little bit smushed so we're going to pull that back a little bit we're going to pull these back a little bit and hopefully and I mean hopefully will um, it'll look nice but apparently I've missed some things that are more that are a little bit important so when we actually pull this to the side what it's doing is it's not moving the previous ones so we need to get rid of these two lines and now we should be fine so how I did that I selected them with shift um, to select multiple and now so we want to move these ones too otherwise it's can you push everything else out so if we you remember the trick that I did before with control R with K K we're gonna cut that to the middle now we've cut that to the middle which is great and fantastic so we're getting control R this and then all it is is a matter of now the problems that we in, all it is is a matter of alt M and we'll do it to the last and as then we'll alt M to last alt M at last um, Um, now, how are we going to make this move? There is another way we can do it, but um, that's later on in the process. So what I've done is, I'm just... Alt M at last. So we'll control R and we'll make sure we have two cards. Um, alternatively, you can just press two. So what's happened now, we're going to go S, X and make sure it's matched. And then we're going to bring our K trick again, which is just basically um, the knife tool. So with the knife tool, we go bam, bam. And then we have new vertices that connect meshes. Um, it is a better way of doing it than um, leaving it to chance that it all matches up and it, you, then you have messy meshes and no one likes those so do it this, <laughs> do it this way um, so at the moment um, that is the basics of making it so now let's start on the advanced features like um, remember how we started on this so what we're going to do is we're going to select both these faces and then we're going to click the subdivide item and yes I know it's going to do it in triangles which is a bit weird and oh no my blender's stopped from running properly mm. This is why I recommend backups, especially back up your work every time you have a chance. Um, sometimes it's just because um, it needs to calculate the cuts, um, and especially when you're doing subdivide, it can use up a, a little bit of RAM. But the thing is, um, I'm doing this on a basic computer and it has 
where this is only low, very low poly. Um, uh, so that's basically um, try and keep that at about that size. So now what we're going to do, we're going to select this area and we're going to turn that into a circle with loop cut that I jumped to earlier. So yes, that does not look like a really attractive circle now, does it? So click subdivide again and then we'll click circle and then we'll click shorten and the problems that we have are the meshes aren't lining up. So you have to cut these ends otherwise it will not work with the current meshes because it likes to cut corners when um, it has triangles that are made up of four and it doesn't accurately make one the mesh properly. It's just a um, error of Blender um, that occurs sometimes so you just need to be aware of it so, um, otherwise you have the same problem with overlapping meshes which you do not want. Um, so there we go we now have our circle. Now we want to flatten the circle and if there is a problem with the flatness of the circle we go S, Y, 0 and it seems to be perfect to me. Um, and the reason you've got this installation of color right here is because the shading, the normals are different. So what we're going to do, we're going to recalculate normals. And look, no longer such a problem. Um, so with this circle, we need to remember how it looked in the picture. So we'll go back to the picture. Where's that picture? Now we're going to have to move this forward and then go texture and it's crosshaired and now we could do that but um, we don't have time so um, we're going to make that invisible again and what we're going to do we're going to click back on this mesh and we click here so we're going to delete faces. Now I, I know it's a little bit weird um, deleting all the faces that we spent to make that circle but trust me it is for a good cause so you click E and then what we're going to do is we're going to click E to expand that whole section and that's going to come forward a little bit and then we're going to click Control R and make sure it goes around the center pull forward and then we have this window sort of thing so we're going to cut in the middle now instead of having the lines I I can do it, I'm just, we don't, just don't have time, so we're going to click F. Now, that's just going to, when we're finished, that's going to be a plane of glass, so um, it won't really affect us that much. And yes, I know it's not smooth yet, but, but, we've, but we've got that. So that's actually, um, we're very close at the moment. So we're going to go texture. Now, what are we missing? Now. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry about that. <coughs> yep. So what we're going to do is, we're just going to make the clock, and then we're going to go back to tools up here, subdivides, and subdivide. Um,
and then we're gonna select a sentinel selection and we're gonna click circle and then now um, again I'm because of time I'm gonna cheat um, and I recommend you do this too um, so um, we're going so that's every every little detail at the moment um, so we've done all of the styling except for the doors which I forgot about actually whoops now um, so now with the doors have a look how they are on here now the quickest way to make the doors rotate one it's 90 Um, actually, I forgot to put it on the plane, so we'll go solid again. And then what we'll do, we'll click Edit, Shift S, cursor to selected. So, what we're going to do is we're going to select in the middle of this that's face selected shift s cuts to selected then we're going to go object and then we're going to go shift a and then we're going to make a material and then we're going to rotate it on the rotate at 90 on the x and then we're going to go into edit mode and then shrink by scale by s So, what we're doing now is just copying, and then we're getting SX, and that's going to be the scale. Now, as you can see from the actual thing, it's the same idea as what we did with the other one. So we're going to go to... So, EY, so we go down. So there we go, then we scaled it down the same as that, and then... So then,
So we need to make that go. So with solids, we need that out, and now we've got our gateway. So So yeah, I'm mucking around a lot, um, mucking around with the settings uh, because I'm trying to get it to a point where it does look nice. So what we'll do is we'll just extrude these faces and bring them a little bit forward. So we click Z and we only want to bring them about that much forward. So, what I'm going to do, I'm just going to use that as the template. Yes, I, I know I should be um, doing it a little bit more delicate way, but I'm, I'm running out of time, and obviously, if uh, I'm running out of time, that means that you'll probably won't have time either, so... I'm trying to save you in the long run. Um, so if we shift D and make that on the X, and shift D and make that on the X, so now we've got all. Wait, I mucked that up. Yep. We won't actually do that. We'll bring this one forward. Um, then we need to make the doors. So what we'll do is we'll. Select that one. Oh wait, we need to start from the bottom. So we'll select these ones and then shift S because it's selected. They'll make that in the middle. So shift A and then we'll make a plane and then we'll rotate it on the X and they'll be on the right angle. And then we'll click edit and then we'll click S, 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 S. Then we'll click Control R, and then we'll go. Now, as you can see, it's well with uninspected, so. And we'll delete that, delete vertices, and then we'll push that up so that it actually meets the size of the door. Then what we'll do is control We'll make that invisible while we're editing this. So what we've got to do now is make the sides SX Control R Control R Control R. So What we'll do, we'll do E, Y, 0 0.1, 0 0.01, 
zero point zero zero five negative zero point zero two and then because it's zero point zero two we'll go s zero point nine and then we'll do the same thing e y zero point zero zero two and make that negative and then s zero point nine and then e zero point zero zero two negative and then s zero point nine and then we'll go e y zero point zero zero two negative and then s zero point nine and what we'll do we'll do the same thing we did with the oh no actually so what we'll do is we'll click a and then a shift d s y negative one and then what we'll do we'll push that to about there and then we'll start lining up the door So, So here we go, we're just adding, making sure all the faces connect, and So, um, another trick, because we're actually having, I'm having a lot of trouble actually seeing this door at the moment. And I'm pretty sure you're, you would have the same problem. So, at the moment, I'm, I am doing speed render, which means that I am not doing things all, all that correct. So, we'll actually... So what we'll do, we'll select all, and then S10. And what this means is that we've now got the object a lot more easier to rotate without going into, um, inside the object. Which means we can make things all join up correctly. Um, so basically this... This, um, even though I may simplify that, it's easy, it does take time to at least learn what you're doing. So, here I'm just um, doing a basic, a basic. So, now that's all connected, we go S. 0.1 that brings it back to scale and then what we need to do is because it's too fat s y and now when we start putting it together we click smooth and what we'll do is we'll put it in the gateway now the gateway is smooth too 
So now we go Shift D and then we'll move that along on the X. And then what we do is, if you remember from the original picture, the first one first one is bigger So, as you can see, we've just made our chapel, and these posts, and we're just going to smooth those now. So, um, and with this, we're going to select all, click A, and what we're going to do, we're going to subdivide, and then smooth vertices. And then we're going to generate it to look smooth by going shading and smooth. And what I've done is wrong. You will not smooth. Um, so that will look better. So now we're going to click smooth on shading. And there we go. Now, that is going to be our model um, that we are going to be using um, because it's a lot easier than making a, than doing all the other texturing, all the other individualities. So, at the moment, um, I don't see a point um, in going further because, further um, with that because it's you're going to take a little while to grasp. Um, so, yeah. Hopefully that helps. So. So now, you get this great idea that we select all of that. Now, because we selected all of that, that's going to come down, and Sad because so that's that for this tutorial. Um, so, well, not quite yet. Oh, um, so what I'll do is I'll pause. So, I've just added another plane. So this is going to be our maze, so we're going to scale that up as big as we can, and then what we're going to do here is, you can now see that that's going to be in the middle of our actual set, so we are going to click edit, and we are going to do some subdividing of ourselves. Now, in fair warning, um, we are going to need to probably make a numerous amount of cuts um, just to, so that it um, 
gets to a point where it's usable so we're going to have to do another one now now that's probably good enough now this is going to take time and what you've got is four squares that the temple is on so what we're going to do we're going to start from the outside so we are going to make random patterns throughout yes you can use noise but I don't want to confuse So, as you can see, this is going to take and be a timeful process. So, So, as you're enjoying making your puzzle, um, basically, I forgot that you need entries. Yes, it always makes sense if you actually have an entry point for your maze, otherwise it doesn't work as a maze for some strange reason. But, um, this is probably just because of the time I'm recording. Um, because I won't have time otherwise, and so, um, do do do. So. So, um, what I'm doing now is making your entry points. So, this is going to be... Now, we've got our grid format, so what we'll do here, we'll make it structured like this, and then we'll come across like this, make our hallway come to this right there, and as a result, we'll have to cause a lot of this coming around and around. It's um, basically your structure of maze. There, there is another way to do it, but...
So, as you can see, I've had to make a couple of changes due to um, the maze not connecting. So, with this, I'll say be, be as creative as you want, being big, because um, you're probably going to be the one who's going to notice it more, but um, the more thought out it is, the probably the better it's going to be for when you're um, causing the animation. So, what we'll do here is we'll make this go back like that. Now, as you can see, I'm taking a little bit of time to think on how these two different ones are going to be. Now, this is going to be um, very amusing. Uh, I'm not exactly sure of how So, as you can see, it is taking a little bit longer. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to pause the recording and then you can... I'll turn it back on when I'm actually done the maze and we'll stand that up. Okay, I'm back. So, what I've done is I've actually made our maze. Um... So now we're going to click E, and we're going to pull that up. So now, what you see is that we've um, we've now got the church in the middle, which will will probably rotate in the net tutorial. Um, but here we go. We've got all our meshes. So that's our meshes, and that should be it for this video. Um, so um, this is um, part one of part three of three parter. So enjoy.